Hello and welcome. This is the Midday News on TVC. I am Ikechuku Obienu. The families of the victims of the petrol tanker fire incident in Lagos are calling out for financial assistance to aid their quick recovery. The senator overseeing Lagos State Senatorial District and Chairman Senate Committee on Land Transport, Benga Shafa, under whose area of jurisdiction the accident occurred, visited five survivors of the accident at the Magada General Hospital where they are recovering uh, or receiving treatment. Health correspondent Jacqueline Ogo tells us more. Bagada General Hospital, where five survivors of the tanker explosion incident are receiving treatment at the hospital's trauma and burn center. We were denied access to video the victims due to official permission not granted. But their traumatized family members were around, crying out for assistance. Yusuf Wasiu is the son of a 64-year-old victim of the fire explosion. He says his father is in severe pains. They are using oxygen for him before he can breathe. The money we have been spending yesterday, in fact, I can't calculate it. And the doctor asks us if we want a, a serious treatment for him, we'll be what? Contributing 25,000 naira per day. He's going to a lot of pains there. He's shouting all his body, everything is paining him. At least if the federal can assist, maybe he should pay some bills so that. The pains will reduce and it's going to get better. Latifat Amao wants speedy assistance for her brother. I went to see him. I couldn't look at him. My brother hasn't opened his eyes at all. He got born from head to toe. The government and the people should please help us. Senator Gbenga Ashafa, under whose area of jurisdiction the accident occurred, came visiting them with words of consolation. He offered this information about their well-being. The patients are, are responding to treatment. I am happy with the way they, they all spoke, except for one that has a, a first degree bones that is deep. But I've been assured by the matron and the um, doctor in charge that... His situation is um, surmountable. Senator Ashafa could not hold back his disappointment in the way truck drivers and other road users shun safety measures. I think it is not just not only the tanker drivers, other road users must be conscious of the fact that one little accident can result into a carnage. He blames the poor state of infrastructure on previous administrative lapses. The amount of priority that the government, the federal government, is giving to rail construction all over Nigeria now, you will know that we have spent the last 16 years not prioritizing what should be in the forefront. Former governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, had made attempts previously to stop the indiscriminate movement of trucks during the day. But all that effort faded away with governmental metamorphosis. Now it has become very glaring that strong and effective measures must be taken on truck roads demarcation, rail rehabilitation for the movement of gas as well as sea transportation of inflammables to stop families from wailing in biting pain. What happened can no longer be wiped away from history. What matters most now are the solutions. These Nigerians right here going through so much agony say they never invited the incident upon themselves and so they want the treatment of their family members to come free of charge. Jacqueline Ogo, TVC News, Lagos.